On August 30, 1982, the F-20 Tiger Shark had its first flight, but the jet would lead to the biggest failure of the Northrop Corporation. The design flaws of the F-20 range and vary from aerodynamics to G-forces and trying to be too much. The jet first started being mapped out in 1974 and building started in 1975. The jet could reach Mach 2 and had a range of 74 cores clutter. The missiles on it were the AIM-9 Sidewinder. The two main purposes of the jet were to be the better F-16 and to improve the body of an F-5. But those two don't mix which gives you this lost project. The most minor design flaw of the F-20 Tiger Shark was the low-lying wings. The problem was that when landing, there was little to no room for ground clearance, which could be very dangerous for the pilot and the ship crew which meant landings had to be super precise and often would fail. This wing problem also reduced maneuverability by loads. The second main problem with this jet was that it crashed 70% of the time. Why it crashed is because the pilots would experience excessive G-forces. Out of the three jets that were produced, only one survived the flight. The jets were sold to South Korea, where the first crash occurred. In October of 1984, pilot Daryl Cornell took the jet for a demonstration flight and blacked out due to the jet's high G-forces and crashed. The other crash was in Goose Bay, Labrador, Canada. Dave Barnes was killed, and the crash was again blamed on the jet's excessive G-forces. The bad thing is for any tight air routes, the plane will pull many G-forces, too many for pilots to handle. The number one problem discussed by Mr. Doerr, it tried to be too many things. The main purpose was the F-16 2.0 but failed because it took ideas from too many jets in the U.S. Air Force. The single jet and the three exact back wings from the F-16, the body of the F-5, and the wing box from the F-18. The F-20 had to high hopes to live, and but so it crashed. The last reason it failed was selling. Everyone was focused on the F-16 because its high lethalness, speed, and maneuverability, but when the new F-20 came out, it was barely bought as only three were ever produced. The F-20 can still get the job done and is still an okay jet, but the flaws were too big and the F-20 Tiger Shark was canceled. Subscribe for more military videos.